everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a back workout. So all you need are a pair of weights. If you want, you can do multiple weights um, and just kind of vary the amount of weight that you're doing and lift a little heavier. Just for ease of teaching today, I'm just gonna use one pair of light weights. So we're gonna start with a warm up with just a little jog in place. Just getting the blood flowing. We're gonna make sure the muscles are warm and ready to go. Good. We're gonna clasp the fingers together and stretch the arms up over the head. Nice big stretch in the shoulders here. Good, and release. And we're just gonna swing the arms in front of the chest and behind, switching which arm is on top. Good. Now a dynamic back stretch. So we're gonna bring the arms up, back, and up overhead. And last stretch. We're just gonna do some mid back turns, side to side, warming up the core. The back is part of the core. All right, I hope you're feeling warm. We're gonna get started here. Let's go ahead and grab your weights. If you have different weights with you, you're gonna grab a medium to heavy weight for this. We're gonna do some bent over rows. So we're gonna bend the knees and hinge forward at the hips. Back is still straight. Elbows are bent, weights together in front of the um, core. And we're just going to keep the elbows bent and we're gonna pull the weights back. And we're squeezing the elbows here as if we're trying to pull them together and then back in front and pull it back. So you see the weights in front here, my elbows are still bent, my arms are not completely straight. And then we're just pulling it straight back as if you have like a rope attached to the elbow and you're just pulling it straight back. Okay, let's do one more. Well done. All right, drop one of your weights down to light to medium weight here. We're going to do an ob oblique twist with the raise. So I'm gonna have us kind of squat down um, and you're gonna take the weight to the opposite foot that you're gonna lift it to. So I'm having it my right foot here and then I'm gonna lift up and twist. And I'm actually gonna come up on my toe and kind of pivot my body a little bit and twist the weight up and then back down. And we're gonna do 10 each side. So this is working not only the back, but also the shoulders, the triceps, and the obliques, which are in your abs. Good, let's do the other side. And one more. Well done. All right. Light to medium weights. We do a shoulder press. So this is working your shoulders, but also a little bit of the back. So we're going to bring the weights up, making a 90 degree angle with the elbows, and press straight up overhead, and bring it back down. Hold the core tight here. We don't want to be arching the back. If you are, go ahead and drop your weights down. Two more. Very good, you can drop that weight down. All right, light weights here. 
We're going to do some rear delt rotations. So we're going to bend the elbows, 90 degree angle, holding the weights in front. We're going to keep this angle with our arms and we're just going to rotate the weights out and in. So you should definitely feel this in the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. One more. Well done. Straighten the arms in front. Light weights here. We're going to do a front dumbbell raise. This also works the shoulders. So we're going to have our palms facing in. And we're just going to lift the weight straight up in front of the shoulders and back down. So bring it level to shoulder height. We don't want to um, sacrifice one. We're not going lower than that. We're also not going higher. We're not putting more pressure on our shoulders than there needs to be. Again, core is tight, not arching the back during this exercise. If you are, go ahead and drop the weight down. Either just do less weight or body weight. Practice the form, then add the weight. Good. All right. Next one is pulling our pants up. Not literally, but what we're going to do is bring one leg forward, the other leg back. We're going to bring the weights down towards the ankle. You can do light to medium here. And then we're going to go like we're pulling our pants up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and back down. We're going to do five on each leg. Good. Other side. Moving on to upright rows. This one really depends on how much shoulder strength you have for the amount of weight. Start light and work yourself up. Palms facing in. And we're going to lift the weights straight up. Elbows come up towards the ears. So you're making kind of a V shape. And bring the weights back down. more. Well done. All right. Next we're doing some chicken wings. So again to about that 90 degree angle with the weights in front and we're just going to lift the elbows straight up to the shoulder height and bring it back down. So while we are working the shoulders try to make sure your shoulders aren't creeping up towards your ears. What I mean by that is not hunching them up during this exercise. They're still relaxed down even though we're working them. This is challenging, light weights here. Give me one more. Well done. All right. Two more exercises and then we're done. We're going to come down onto the ground. We're going to do plank with renegade rows. So again, start with light weights here until you're more comfortable. You're going to come into a plank position. If you need to modify, you can drop down to your knees. Just make sure you maintain a straight line from the shoulders to the knees. We don't want to be in a tabletop position here. We're holding a plank. And we're going to lift the weight straight up, bringing the elbow in and switch side to side. Try as much as you can not to rock your body side to side in the plank. What you can do is bring your feet a little wider than usual to give yourself a little bit more stability. Work in the core here too. Good, that's it. Drop to the knees, set one of your weights aside, hold the other one in one hand, and we're going to bend that elbow a little bit, and then we're just going to pull the weight straight up and back down, squeezing the shoulder blades. Holding the core tight. Good. Let's do the other side. Mm 
and three more, two more, one more. Well done. All right. So if you want to repeat that through again, you certainly can. I'm going to cool down now. So to start, go ahead and come onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. And just give it a little rock side to side if you like. Always want to make sure you're cooling down after a workout. Go ahead and roll into your stomach. Hands beneath the shoulders, press up into Cobra. Again, making sure your shoulders aren't creeping up towards your ears. Nice big stretch here. So like I said, you want to cool down after a workout, make sure you're stretching the muscles that you just worked. Good. Come to a tabletop position. Inhale, drop the stomach down, look up. Exhale, round the back and tuck the chin. Inhale, down into cow. Exhale, up into cat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Good. Bring your feet up, standing forward bend. Go ahead and clasp the fingers behind the back and pull them overhead in a mudra. Nice big stretch there. Drop the hands down, slowly roll up, letting each vertebra extend. Roll the shoulders back. Good. And last thing, one arm behind, making a chicken wing. Pull the head the opposite way. Big stretch in the shoulder here and the, uh, in the neck. We often hold a lot of tension in our neck. And even when we're working our backs, so we just want to make sure we're stretching that out. The other side. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, you can always do it one more time through or even two more times through to get more of a workout. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week.